Hello, controlling tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster with me, Blue Ankylo, still streaming. And, uh, we have done a little bit of grinding uh, between last episode and this episode. Uh, what I learned, and I mean, we all kind of knew this was going to happen. Uh, we learned that um, to continue learning blue magic as we go, which is sort of the goal for this run, one of the many goals, uh, we needed to learn um, uh, control. Uh, so the ability to control your enemies, sometimes. And to get that, we needed uh, to get Beastmaster to level 2. So that's really all we did, was we just grinded up, I think, 60 job points for uh, Beastmaster and picked up control. Beastmaster is pretty terrible otherwise, but this is a good utility ability. Mostly to learn um, blue magic, <laughs> because, you know, the chance of it working is not great, and you need... Like, against a boss, it's never going to work and stuff like that. So the only really value is, like, getting rare abilities that you can then cast at will for a bunch of MP. Uh, what we actually did was we um, we fought a bunch of um, of Dorn Chimeras. We'll fight one of those on the way back. But uh, they give three job points uh, per kill, and they're not that bad. You, they do have Aqua Breath, and they're pretty tough, but... Um, it's not too hard. So that was a pretty quick grind. Uh, of course, some people got some job levels. I did try out... Um, I'll probably try them out again later, but I tried Geomancer for a while. Ooh, they're not impressing me so far. Um, I, You know, we're fighting in the desert, getting Sandstorm. Sandstorm would do anything from zero damage to like 200, maybe 300 tops. Um, but a red mage could cast Blizzra for 400 reliably every time. So, sure, it was free, but sometimes it did nothing, and sometimes you'd also, instead of casting Sandstorm, you'd cast uh, some kind of insta-death spell that never works, and therefore also did nothing, so you get a lot of missed turns. I wasn't... I wasn't really feeling it. Anyway, we're back. I've got some plans to get some blue magic. Otherwise, we gotta go talk to Sid and figure out what is going on with uh, one last crystal, I guess. Also, some Chancellor up here... Tells you the queen is hanging out above the inn with the remaining guards of uh, Burned Down Castle. The dark, there's no. We need some. Um... Oh, what was the guy's name? Um... I can't believe I'm blanking. Shining Force 2, the old uh, wizard dude that uh, banishes the. Sp I can't remember his name. I don't know mind link, but seems like the same kind of setting where you'd have a, a wise and old wizard perform an exorcism to get the spirit out of the uh, king or princess. No luck. In the desert, there's a fearsome monster. Yeah, we we might know about that. Yeah, they're on your night. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could stream more regularly, but life. Just life. Just looks around outside. I live in, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with what's going on on, uh, sort of west coast of Canada and the United States. Uh, there's been some storms. It's been some water. Flame rod. Nice. Didn't have to buy that one. Um, you know, there's been some stuff being annoying. General end of the world. Life being busy. Nothing scary. Just, you know, finding time to record and stream has been difficult lately, so. Hopefully I can keep it up, but I don't want to promise nothing, because... I thought we talked to Sid here. Oh, did Sid say he'd meet us in the library? Right, and then after the library, then he gets depressed and we come and talk to him here. Sorry. Spoilers, but I think I've messed up the order of operations. Pretty sure... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just keep moving. It's fine. But uh, there's, there's like one little thing we're going to do here. We're going to have a little stop in the steamboat. We're going to try to learn some blue magic. Oh, there, there he is. If only I'd never made those infernal machines. It's all my fault. If it weren't for me, maybe the castle wouldn't have exploded. Okay, maybe now we need to go back to the town and talk to him. It must be tough having blown up his own castle and killed hundreds of people. Anyway, I think you have to do this before you go to the library if you want to do this. There's probably someone else that you can learn the ability for, but this dungeon essentially disappears, right? I don't think you can get back into it later. Could be wrong. Maybe you can always get into this dungeon underneath the castle, underneath your boat. Um, I need to find the, uh, the 
the robot guys again. Not this one. We need to fight a destroyer. Kill the last one without super killing him, you know, damage him or whatever. And then um, we'll see those little robots. We, we got the exploder from them, but they actually have two blue magic spells you can learn off of them. Crazy. There's the guy. Ah, perfect. Do that. Summon his friend. Now we need to control one. And I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Let's we'll see. Miss. I don't know what the accuracy is on stuff like control. In my general experience, it's terrible. So, we might be here a little while. Uh, I think there's a hat you can get later on that increases the- or am I thinking Final Fantasy VI? <laughs> no, I think- I think there is a, a hat you can get later on that makes it easier. But now we can get Missile and cast it on the Blue Mage. Very nice animation, though. That was pretty cool. And with that, another secret blue magic spell. We have a, we get an achievement for learning elementary. Interesting. Alright, so that's done. There's going to be a fair number of blue magic that is only learnable by doing that trick. So if you want to get them all and some of the better stuff... Sadly, you need to grind up Beastmaster and learn control and do what we do. It's kind of annoying, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Not, nothing else I can say. So, let's take a walk. We're going to go head over to the, uh, to the library of, I forget the name, but it's, it's a, it, you know, it's an ancient library. That's probably it. Or, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I may have made him. Remember, I'm like, oh yeah, we talked to Sid. Maybe we should double check to talk to Sid before we leave. Because I feel like someone normally tells you to go there. And he has, like, his base of operations here in his, uh, in the bar, of course. There he is. Yep, good thing we got the cutscene. Leave me alone! Gotta give him a little pep talk. Just leave me be. I killed all those people. I doomed the world. Doesn't someone tell us about his grandson? I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I'm Yeah, there you go. I, I feel like... I, I like to show off, you know, as much as I can why the game wants you to go to the next area rather than just autopiloting there which is something I probably do a fair bit <laughs> but I, I like to at least make it somewhat logical why we're traveling the way we are you know it's just makes me feel a little bit better you know no big deal oh I was gonna buy a mithril sword for the blue mage I think I forgot about that Maybe we'll go back to town one more time. The uh, the Blue Mage actually is a reasonable melee fighter, and I want to get the Blue Mage up to uh, whatever job level teaches them the Blue Magic ability so that we can cast all these fancy spells we're learning. The Red Mage could as well, but... I like the idea of boosting an elemental, like, fire, ice, or lightning with the Red Wiz Red Mage. Anyway, that's a fairly big attack upgrade, and if we put you in the front row, you should be doing What the heck is going on? Apparently, I uh, just had my buttons all backwards. It's all good. <clears throat> For the 20th time, we leave the castle, or the town of Karnak, and head towards the ancient library. Seriously, this is feeling like Groundhog Day. So if you're playing along, um, you definitely, if you're trying to use a blue mage anyway, you definitely want to pick up a blue magic ability here. 
Now, at the moment, it's kind of overpriced. Uh, the spell is a bit too expensive. That's one right there. Um, it does pretty good damage, but it costs 38 MP, which is a little bit on the uh, high end. I wonder if you can hit this guy with Death Claw, actually. Death Claw's a cool ability if it works, but, um, you know, if. Anyway, it's good job points. Um, you get to learn a good blue magic spell for later, but uh, he does... Yeah, he hits pretty hard. You can save it for later and pick it up at any time, you know, but... I would get it now if I could, I would say. Okay, before we go to the Great Library, we're gonna look for something out here. I'm looking for... let's see... It's a Mithril Dragon, I think. And we'll have to control it as well. There's a lot of blue magic we can learn this, this episode, if we're thorough. My audio is ultra low. I mean, we've been streaming for like four hours and it seems to be fine for everybody else. YouTube's got a lot of bots going on these days. Usually Twitch is the one with the bad bots. And there's like delay for the moderation too. Okay, this is the guy we're looking for. So, again, you have to control him to get this ability. Got him first try, that's pretty good. Transfusion on the blue mage. Looks like a really powerful ability, doesn't it? So, we're getting a lot of stuff that we'll probably never use, but, um... Oh, I need to try out Missile. I'm not sure... Oh, it's Quarter. Quarter is one enemy. I mean, that if it works, that might be okay. But this one, um, literally kill yourself to heal an ally. It's, I mean... Maybe better than kill yourself to do damage, but I don't know. I have a hard time thinking of a good scenario where you'd want to use that kind of thing. Personally, it's it's on the low end for me. I mean, if Windows just changed my vo microphone volume in the middle of the stream, then bad Windows. Oh, we also can throw stuff. Oh, you can throw the scrolls. Haven't found a place to buy shurikens yet. I always forget about that with ninjas. Um, let me see, what am I trying to do? I want to use Missile. I just need, like, some basic damaging spells, kind of like Arrow. And then Blue Magic will be a bit more useful. I guess as long as enemies aren't typically immune to the sort of gravity quartering, that's not bad. Like, Missile's fairly cheap, three quarters damage is good. It just doesn't kill anything, it's like, you gotta use it first, and then... Um, okay. I don't think I have to control... I just, I want Ferris to be more useful is the problem right now, but... I don't think I need to use control for anything else, but... It will make things a lot easier. <laughs> Instead of having a 1 in 4 chance of targeting Ferris, you know, we can just force it. Alright, the, uh, the scholarships are, or the, sc the scholar dudes are all freaking out, as, as you'd expect. Every time you see scholars in this game, they're freaking out. How they roll. Uh, we'll do the actual dungeon after we talk to everybody, I guess. Also, the music here is pretty nice, classically. Looking for a book in a mystic library. You should be reading right now. All right, free healing, very nice. Books possessed by monsters, not nice. Crystals used to be powerful, hmm. Maybe the crystals were gonna shatter whether or not the humans used the power after all. We'll go to Jackal one day, but it's gonna be a while. Probably not this stream. Biblos. It's 
Sounds like a boss. If only you had Ifrit to help burn books. A Blue Mage's Journey. Arrow. Level 5 Death. So he had to die to learn that one. I'll give the strange staff to a man from Tycoon. That's kind of relevant. Secretly. A book. Oh, this guy. Okay. Nope. I pressed the wrong button. Dang it. I just accidentally auto battle killed him. Anyway, we want a page 32 to cast Arrow Tube, and we'll probably maybe control it to speed it up. I've got a list of a whole bunch of um, blue magic spells we can learn. A lot of the books have varying spells that blue mage. Like, this is a pretty good blue magic dungeon. Blue mage dungeon. It's a good, good place to be a blue mage. Man, the, realizing you can walk down through that hole messed me up so much as a kid trying to figure that one out. Even even the Lats Less play, I bet you I missed that a couple times. Alright, dark and spooky library time. Oh, we don't have anyone with, uh... See passages right now. Encounter, as much as it's okay. I'd rather not miss things if I can... I don't know if there are secret tunnels in this dungeon, but... I'd rather not miss my chance. Okay, so we're gonna try... Okay, that's era... Arrow level 2, right? That's what we want. I could either sit around and wait, or we can try to control... And then just force it on the blue mage. And then kill him. Okay, good. What's next on my list? Does this guy have anything? Hold on. Uh, I've got a big long list here. Fusion missile, level five doom. Ah, that's from page 64. I thought that looked familiar. Page 256 has one and page 64, 256, and another one from 256, and then the boss. Okay. The thing is, uh, I don't know what level I am. <laughs> Let's just kill him. He's, he's a pretty common enemy. If everyone's level 20, then it would be a game over, so we, we need to be careful. Butts would have lived, dang. So if we get him on the next fight, I can do it, and Butts will live. But then he has to resurrect, you have to, you have to raise the, the blue mage so that they're alive to learn the spell at the end of battle. Doom is just a pain in the neck, so. If we can get it right now, let's get it right now. Once we've got it, there you go, easy. We didn't even have to control it. We're really quite lucky that Butts was not level 20, because, boy, that would have just been game over. Uh, same enemy twice in a row? How dare you? Three times in a row! What are the odds? All right, there you go. So now we need everyone to level up to 21. Because for a while, everyone's going to be level 20 and... Uh, I don't like it. We need to be very careful. Of, we, we can't mess around with um, fighting page. Like, basically, we need to go full offense every time we see one of those. We can't, we can't let them get more than, like, a turn. And if we get preemptive strike doomed, I mean, game over. One of these is like treasure. I forget. Oh, this is the angry bookshelf. Right, 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 right. Best farming spell? Well, yeah, if you're following a guide or skip. Dang it! I 
mean, this is just dumb. I, there is actually, like, I, I hate enemies that have AoE death level 5, because if you come into the dungeon at the wrong time, this is what happens, and suddenly you're just wasting tons of resources all the time. And the thing is, to get past that, we're going to have to grind, like, over 3,000 experience so that we don't all fall in the range. Which is going to take a long time. So maybe, maybe trying to do this dungeon before you get to level 20 would be smart. Maybe. Given that he can just repeat himself three times in a row, I mean, it's probably not worth it. We do need a page 256 at some point. Meanwhile, Ifrit time. Big deal. You know the drill? Oh, yeah, well. I don't suppose he's level 5. He's There's no way. I wonder if there's anything Blue Magic can do against a boss right now. The uh, Spellblade will deal with it, no doubt. Level 22... Six, he's already basically dead. Oh, he is weak to water! I didn't even think... Of course. What a dumb spell! 400 damage? That thing costs 38 MP. Meanwhile... 1500 damage, that's basically enough to two-shot him. Never mind, guys. Blue magic is dumb. Geomancy's dumb. Beastmaster's dumb. Blue magic is dumb. Never use it. Okay. So, good for summoners. I don't have a summoner right now. I still need to have control on, because there's still one more... Uh, there's one more blue magic spell to try to pick up while we're down here, if I can. If it's more of a warm-up boss, anyway. Ha ha ha, none shall pass. Alright, burn him down. He's realized who's in charge. Alright. Let's try to get page 256. I feel like there's a couple different kind of encounters in here. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if there's a way to manipulate which pages you get. I guess as long as we're, like, killing him before he gets a turn, you know, we're doing good damage. It's probably not too dangerous to get Doom wiped, but, you know, it's just always there, possibly. I think I miss... Yeah, I have to go back. I missed a chest. And auto battle is the fastest, so that's all you need, right? I guess the trouble is, if I'm in auto battle mode and he switches to 256, 
then we're just gonna kill it before we uh, get to learn its magic. But it is nice to see Butts and Galif basically one-shotting it now, pretty reliably, so... Definitely risking our life. Hey, ninja suit for the ninja! Oh, I mean, it, it has its name on it, right? So... <laughs> you've got a ninja, you've got to put on the ninja suit. Goodbye. Like, the thing is, like, we didn't even get a turn. Like, I don't mean, I don't want to gripe too much, but it's really, I think it's a bad mechanic. If we had fought one more battle, Butts would have been level 20, and we would have just been killed immediately without without any recourse other than going to grind in a lot of, another level before we come in here, basically. And I really, like, that. that is a... Uh, and I bought quite a lot of Phoenix Downs before we came here. Now we're in the zone. Oops, I wanted to go uh, push that book. Angry book. Danger book. Wow, just a twofer. Okay, well the save point is certainly good to see. The biggest problem I have is I never found book 256 or page 256. We're not quite done, but pretty much. Yeah. Okay, well, seeing as we just saved it, let's see if we can... I mean, the whole point here is to get that, uh... To get that blue magic spell. I've been running around with control this whole dungeon. I guess he must be one of the rarer pages. can one-shot the whole party. This is, this is a great idea. Best idea I've had. Okay, starting at 128. Maybe that means it'll go up to 256. Come on, upgrade. There we go. Okay, this guy's got two things. We got him under our control. Awesome. Off guard is the one you have to control him to get. I think that's enough. Now we need him to cast Moon Flute, which is AoE Berserk, and then he dies. Should be good. Not good. It turns out guard off actually has to hit you. Uh, missing is not good enough, huh? So...
Well, how do you... Does that mean you need to put, like, Protect on or something and then have him... Just save that, uh, one thing at least. why we didn't learn guard or like how did I get control of the monster it's a beast master ability called control no one ever uses beast master so I understand you wouldn't be familiar with it this one right here it doesn't work all the time One more of those... Alright, this is good. Starting at a high number seems to be more likely to run into the 256. Uh, I expect most bosses are going to be uh, resistant to it, but I don't know. I'm not really very familiar with control. I know how to use it to get some blue magic abilities, but I don't know how often it's successful or not. And if he, yeah, the problem with this is if he casts Moon Flute, then he dies. Because we can't keep trying to control, yeah. This could be rough. We, we got it our first try, which might have been a bit lucky, but then I didn't actually learn the dang ability. So, unfortunately, we do have to get, we have to get lucky to find the enemy, and then we have to get lucky to hit control before he uses Moon Flute, because then, you know, we can't stop. Definitely not the easiest enemy to, uh, work out. Well, that's it again. So you can get a single, a single cast of control only. I also have to go restore some MP here. And my biggest worry here is I'm not even sure how to learn it exactly, because... The, if it misses Ferris, it doesn't even seem to work. So I think the battle... Basically, it has to start with a page 128, or we're not going to get it, I think. I'm not sure exactly how this... I still don't really know how they choose what pages you get, but... Yeah, blue magic is definitely a pain. Like... The game is kind of sketchy with which abilities you can learn. And then there's a whole bunch of abilities you can't even learn unless you control the enemy, like, to cast it, like, a, a healing or buffing spell on you rather than itself. And it's cool, but basically, unless you're following some sort of guide, it, you know, it's pretty hard to... It's hard to get good value out of a blue mage just naturally. If you're just playing along and you're like, cool, blue magic sounds awesome, and you just keep one of your characters as a blue mage, 
there's a pretty low chance you'll get a lot of the powerful abilities that are make them a good class. They'll, they'll probably seem like one of the weaker classes because they just they don't naturally get good stuff. You have to you have to really work for it. Even here, knowing exactly what to do, or approx <laughs> mostly what knowing what to do. You know, this is still going to take like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And I don't even know if this is any good. Like, it's a spell that might be a complete waste of time, but this is the chance to learn it, so I have to try. I don't think there's anything we can do to protect against Berserk. We would need the entire party to be immune to Berserk to kind of guarantee we learn the, the ability. Wait, we mastered Blue Mage? No, no. We just got to level 3 Blue Mage. It's not Masters. We can equip Blue Magic now, at least. I don't remember what the uh, Mastering actually even gives you for Blue Mage. Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of these mechanics, Beastmaster, Blue Mage, we're dead. Game over, man. Game over. This is why FF5 didn't come out in North America. Because if you're, if you've got bad luck, you just all die. Game over. Good thing there's autosaves in this version. It's so dumb. It makes me angry. All right, so starting with 128, we should have a chance here to get the uh, the 256 control again. Try to set this up a little better, maybe. Maybe I can get two chances on control if I'm ready. And. Maybe I should put slow... Uh, well, I just want to make sure that if I get the control, the guard off works. Okay, we got him. Okay. I've got protect and haste. Something's got to work on off guard, right? Yeah. So that specifically nullifies the guard or the protect status. And haste is still on, so it gets rid of protect specifically. It might get rid of like protect and shell, is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure if there's very many bosses that use protect and shell, but hey, it might be cool because that's a. It probably doesn't miss like dispel, which could remove protect and shell, but also could miss. In theory, that might be good. Anyway, we got it. Um, let's go fight ourselves a boss. Jeez. Hopefully we don't get uh, death level 5 or whatever on the way over. That took a fairly long time. Now there is... There is one more... Um, there's one more blue spell we might be able to learn. And if we don't get it, it's going to be a while before we've got another chance. And this one's actually another pretty valuable one. like. This one I know has some utility if you get it now. We'll see. Stay on your toes, I've got a bad feeling. The books. Okay, we need this guy to use one of his spells. We can't, I don't think we can control him. I probably could have unequipped the control, honestly. Um. What are this? I've got so many blue spells that are just terrible. There's no way, right? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, blue magic, right? We just hit him with gravity, basically. Um. <laughs> he's, he's dead already, basically. One more attack. 
I, uh, I was not expecting that. I sure hope Galuf doesn't have um, counter. Because if he's got counter, we we could kill this guy accidentally, and I kind of want him to cast a spell on Ferris. <laughs> I... I mean, someone asked about controlling the boss. I really... Yeah, cannot be controlled. He's actually immune to it. Hmm. So how, how long do we have to wait here for... Uh, him to start. There you go. Oh, first try! MP Hammer is exactly what we wanted, and they targeted Ferris. Goodbye, Biblos. Well, I didn't expect gravity quartering to work on Biblos, and the truth is, Spellblade could two-shot him as well, and so could Fira and Ifrit and all that. But I was surprised that Missile worked. That was kind of like, whoa, didn't expect that to work. All right, we've remastered Blue Magic, and now we have Magic Hammer. So if you don't get Magic Hammer from this guy, the problem is nobody else casts that spell till pretty close to the end of the game. So if you want to have that having MP attack, which could be useful against bosses that use a lot of magic, um, maybe. I mean, you know, it's probably there's probably better things to do with your time, but still, hey, we got it. I told you not to bother me when I'm reading. Mid's kind of a punk, you know? Sitting down here getting surrounded by big old book monsters. You gotta be kidding. I guess he didn't really have to walk around, because he could just get right back to the main library pretty quick. Oh yeah, Gao... Lur Lur well, Strago with lore is exactly blue magic. Um, Gao with his jump in the Velt to learn attacks is kind of like, uh, similar, but it's because it's auto battle, like once he uses a rage, he's just automatically berserk, basically. It's definitely a more complicated, um, effect. I like Strago's style more, but honestly, lore slash blue magic is not very good in FF6 either, other than some small look. It's very situational. It's just easier to teach everybody Ultima, basically. easier to learn a piercing area of effect high damage spell than to mess around and try to learn the equivalent blue magic. There is an equivalent almost ultima with blue magic or lore, but it's uh, it's pretty hard to get. Pretty late game. Well, so is ultima. Alright, we found a book. Gotta go talk to Sid. I'm not really talking about the story a whole lot, but uh, you know... Sid's depressed because his fire crystal magic destroyed the world and his fire ship doesn't work and now Mid's out here reading books about fixing stuff, so they'll go meet up and they'll be fine. <laughs> I do want to stop by the magic pump though. So I think we can change Ferris's job now. Um, The next blue magic, I'm just checking my list. The next blue mage spell that we might want to learn is Crescent Island. That's getting, start getting some good stuff around then, I think. So for now, let's get her some job points and something else. Uh, I don't think, like, the next the next blue magic level is, like, 250 points. That's a long way away. It might be nice to just pick up some, um, either summoner... How close are we to the next summoner level? And we can go, like, summoner plus blue if you want. Now that we've got it. And then you can even bu bu buff... You can boost up one of your uh, elementals, like Shiva or uh, Ifrit. It's not a terrible combo. And yeah, we're about halfway to Summoner 4, so we'll pick that up before we um, switch over to something else. That seems f sensible. Oh, right, I was going to change butts once he got to Mystic Knight 5, but then we were grinding, so I forgot. Um, seeing as we're going to be traveling, it's a good time to switch things up a little bit. Uh...
I think his most powerful combo right now is still going Mystic Knight two-handed. But I, well, it's like 150 away. I, you know, we should get some knight. Like, while we're not in a difficult boss fight, we might as well let him level up some knight. Just a little bit higher. It doesn't change much. I think he does a little bit higher base damage, but it's pretty similar. And then Galuf is also kind of at the beginning of a long, slower job grind. Um, but I don't really want to mess with it right now, so he can just be a ninja for a bit. Honestly, uh, maxing out ninja is a pretty good idea. The, the jobs you want to master early, Red Mage, uh, Ninja, Hunter, once you get them. There's, there's a few that are, like, really valuable to max level. But we don't really need to worry about end game job combos yet. You know, we're still a long way from that. I'm definitely feeling that the drop rate from enemies is pretty good in this version. Like, I don't I don't know for sure if it's better than it was in um, this Super Nintendo version. But I'm seeing a lot of somewhat rare items dropping from enemy battles that normally you'd only ever get one or two of, right? Should make, um, whatever it's called, the alchemist, chemist? Probably just chemist. It should make chemist a little bit better because if you have a lot of, uh, turtle shells and dark matters and whatever drops from enemies you can use them to combine to some pretty cool effects you, you do need to memorize a bunch of combos but um there is some really good stuff in there if you've got the uh, resources which usually rare drops and steals unfortunately all right sid Where's mid? Leave me alone. Don't waste your time. He's just super depressed after blowing up his castle. But then his grandson comes and punches him. Well, flails wildly. He's just a kid, after all. Never give up. Never give up. Gao... Gao's not that... I know I know there are some very specific rages that make Gao good in Final Fantasy VI. And some people really love them. But you basically have to memorize and learn a specific... Like, you've got a list of, like, 250 enemies, and you have to specifically know which one... cast what spell or ability that works in what time and stuff. It's way easier to get um, the offering for, like, X-Fight and Genji Glove for two attack. Um, anybody can do that. I, you, you, like, classically, I would put Genji Gauntlet on, uh, Sabin pretty early on and just dual wield claws. He's pretty cool with that. Um, you know, anyone's pretty good with dual weapons. And then Offering is pretty late game, but, yeah. Point is, like, Gao, what he brings to the table personally isn't that. He brings the, uh, the whole uncontrollable select an enemy from 250 if you gather them all up. But it's a, it's like a like it's a job to gather up all the various monster rages, and then it's another job to memorize um, which ones work and when. It, yeah, it's just too much too much work for me. At least with blue magic, it's like once you learn it, the spell does what you want it to do. Like once you know white wind, you just select white wind and you cast it. Or um, big guard is pretty good. You know, the spells that you like from Blue Magic classically, not too hard, really. Like, once you know the spell, you can just spend some MP. But for Gao, it's, it's more like homework. And then he's still uncontrollable. Once he's raised, you can't, uh, um, you can't have him use a phoenix down on someone who's dead. He'll just keep standing there doing dumb stuff while the whole party dies.
That's why I don't like Berserker that much in this game. As much as it is a nice bonus, like, it's a pretty nice buff. Um, by, by losing control of your character, even if they're a bit stronger, you miss out on so much tactical options. You can't, you can't use an item, which is a lot of stuff. You can't stop attacking if an enemy has counterattacks. You know, there's, there's a lot of things you can't do if you give up control. Like, casting the Berserk spell when you want, totally fine. Um, there are certainly times where just going all out DPS is great. But just as a as a job where you're always berserked, yeah, I don't know. And then like Gal, that's basically how he plays. He's basically a berserker that you get to select how he rages. Meanwhile, Galuf is having a touching moment, remembering that he's actually a grandfather, and he has a granddaughter somewhere, and he's actually an alien. Sort of. Yeah. And you finally learn about the evil warlock X Death who's probably behind all the mysterious dark portals and possessing and trying to break the crystals to free himself from this, some sort of seal. Remember this place? We saw this early on. There was four pillars there. There's not four pillars there anymore. And that's your story for Final Fantasy V. <laughs> they sealed him once, but he's getting free. He didn't do anything wrong, did he? I mean... I think he was trying to destroy the world when they sealed him, I think. I'm fairly certain. I'm not sure they really cover what happened 30 years ago, but I think it's more than just Mr. Warlock. I feel like... Come on, fix the ship. Get to work, you lazy bones. X-Death being the hardest 2D Final Fantasy? Nah. If you're playing non-Pixel Remaster, I mean, I haven't, I haven't gotten there in this version, but if you're playing, like, NES Super Nintendo original versions uh, of the first six games, probably Cloud of Darkness from Final Fantasy 3? Yeah. X-Death is harder than... Um, Zeramis and pro probably harder than Kefka. But Cloud of Darkness is way worse. Pretty sure. And there's a lot of ways to break this game. It's not too difficult to make your party super overpowered and then um, X-Death is pretty easy. If you can defeat Omega and Shinru, then yeah, you're fine. You've got you've got a way to test it ahead of time. All right, so we're finally on a boat. We're gonna be ending this episode pretty soon here. Um, let's see. We could go to Crescent Island, but I think once we, well, no, we can go to Crescent Island. We just have to not be dumb. <laughs> um, we need to go to the top left, I think, to get Ramu, right? And then we should pick Ramu up before we do the next big area. But I can pick up a, another blue magic spell, which is, yeah, I've been trying to get blue magic, so we'll do that. I do like that this point in the game doesn't really tell you much about where to go next. Um, I guess you're looking for the earth crystal, but it's not like super obvious how to get to it. And it's kind of like, as you're exploring the world in your boat, something happens to you more than anything else. I, th I think that's the point we're at, right? But I don't want that to happen yet, because we've got some exploring to do. The ice rod is certainly not serving me that well here. I guess, uh, on the water, everything's probably weak to lightning. And I did buy two Thunder Rods. So why don't we try a little... Baldy of Life change here. I haven't ever tested this specific strategy out, but... Let's see if it works.
Oh, but the thunder anemones are gonna not die to thunder. Like, why are they always gonna put an enemy like in a in an area where everything is weak to one element? Why is the game always gonna add one thing that's immune? Just to make my life suffer. Just to make us suffer, you know? Just to make auto battle not work. Also, we are taking a fairly large amount of damage. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to say this game is like easy or anything, but we are taking enough damage that we should be careful. Eh. Not very effective. I was hoping that would be a little bit more punchy. And I know I've mentioned this a couple times, but the encounter rate is definitely uh not, not holding back. Yeah, I, so far, the general balance and scale, I would say, this game might have the harder base difficulty than the other Pixel Remasters. Like, for instance, apparently we cannot hit one bird. Um, it's impossible to hit it, and it requires magic or else you'll die. Apparently. Never thought I'd see the day that we couldn't kill one bird. You know, the birds are supposed to be dying. I thought we, uh... Thought we confirmed that the wind crystal was gone, the wind is... The wind is left. And from now on, birds will die. Big blue. Uh, it's a different game, I think. Okay, so this island, let me see here. We need the temporary shift here. We're gonna go back to blue magic for a second. And I'll even put control on because it might make this a little bit easier. Gear doesn't really matter. And I'm specifically looking for, what am I looking for? Walk around until you find a black flame. This is not a black flame. It would be nice to have the summoner ready for this stuff. Hmm. This is probably going to be terrible, but let's show it off. And did okay damage. Okay. Aqua Breath, you've still got a long way to go, but... That was... Still not worth 38 MP, but... You know, 600 bucks, 600 damage could be worse. Also, I just want to put it out there that Double Lizard is terrifying. I think the regular Knight is a fair bit slower than, um the Mystic Knight as well. Mystic Knight gets his actions a bit quicker, I'm pretty sure. I think. Feels that way. Okay, this is what we're looking for. So we need to keep at least one Black Flame alive get them to cast a spell on us, and then learn it. So good. So great. Uh, you can't... I don't think you can auto-battle control. Try one more time. Control. 
Nope. That is annoying. So Dark Spark is incorrect, or is it? He's got two abilities. Anyway, it needs to hit Ferris one way or the other. So far, our controlling has been very much not successful. He could... Well, I think if he was immune to it, it would say he's immune. That's the one. Level half, yep. We do actually want this. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me. No, there's Dark Spark and Dark Shock. They're, they're different. <laughs> okay, we finally got him now that he has no MP. Uh... <laughs> this is my life. Dark Spark. Wait. No, we need Dark Shock. Well, maybe the names changed in different translations. I don't know. Let's see. At least it hit. So, if that is the one we can learn... I, actually, I think the happening is correct. Yeah, okay. It used to be Dark Shock. They also had, like, Sonic Wave or something, so... I, they have a couple different abilities. Anyway, that's good. That is great. Um... So, in theory, any enemy that can be hit by that, there you go, um, is like super nerfed because most of your damage formulas come from your level. So, going from like level 20 to level 10 is a pretty huge debuff. White Wind is the next big dungeon. We're getting close. We get a fire attack next, and then we get White Wind. And then we get Blowfish. We get some gravity, and then we're done this world. So, we're doing okay. Unfortunately, most of these spells are pretty bad. Missiles, okay. Magic Hammer, it's very, very situational. Self-Destruct, bad. Vampire, pretty minor. Question Mark is stupid. Transfusion's pretty bad. Off Guard, very situational. Removing, like, Protect and Shell. Dark Spark could be good if it works. Goblin Punch sucks. Era, yeah, it's okay. Death Claw, also really good if they're not immune to it. Moon Flute, I mean, no. <laughs> Flash, no. No. Really good if you know somebody is going to die instantly to it. And really expensive. But um, anyway, it's good to see that we're getting a good selection. I'm still not sold on it being a good yet, but we're, we're getting there. You know, we're, we're getting some better abilities. White Wind will give us a heal. As we start getting some other offensive damage kind of blue magic, it starts catching up, I would say. Okay, and I know we're already like an hour into the episode. We're gonna do one more little side questy thing here. Uh, I think I can just diagonally it. We're gonna head off to kind of a... It's not like a bonus area or anything, it's just side quest. I wonder if we summon Shiva here if it'll do enough damage. Oh, I haven't even shown off Ifrit yet. We should show that off. Yeah, spell animations very pretty. Water creatures, not really known for being weak to fire, but... One-shots enemies? Yeah, the samurai has something like that. It, uh... It only works on weak enemies, for the most part. <laughs> Meanwhile... About to die to random enemies on the ocean. These guys are, like, really strong. I'm actually a little bit worried. I'm not sure these are level appropriate. Uh, hold on a second. We need to kill at least one of these things. 
Out of, out of MP, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? They, they gave us a whole bunch of these. It's fine. Uh... Which I knew something would work here for sure. We could always do, like, a transfuse. <laughs> uh... Hold on, I'm just panicking a little bit. They might be weak to arrow. Eh. Okay, we got one. That helps a lot. Good thing I used that elixir. Goodbye, butts. We need the melee DPS here. Yeah, but we can't even get White Wind yet. We still have to do another dungeon. I wish I had a lot of things. <laughs> I should have tried... Maybe I should have tried this. I don't know. It's probably immune. Hmm. Not going super great. He's gotta be getting close though, but so fast. I should I should have slowed them. They're they're very very fast. That's the problem. Done. All right. Good enough. Poof. Uh. So whatever zone of the water I'm in, that was not a good deal. Uh. We're just gonna run if we find those again, and I'm definitely putting a save in. I forgot there was even a zone with stuff like that in the World 1 um, ocean, but dang. You know what? Apparently they're just everywhere now. You should, we should never have come up here. This is a terrible idea. They're just regular enemies. Most enemies are weak to lightning, except for all those thunder enemies, and flying enemies are not automatically immune to, uh, or weak to lightning. Welcome to history. I mean, I came here to do a quick side quest. I don't know, maybe I should end the episode and save it for next time. Um, they do have really cool, like, uh, fire, ice, and then aging zombification immunity, which is pretty good. Which is super expensive. Good stuff. Absorb fire, weak to ice. Absorb water. Blah, blah, blah. Angel. Is, they don't... Did they call it Angel? Ah, oh, they did call it Angel. Did I grind job levels? I have not grinded any significant job levels yet. No. Such a nice ring of flowers. With a frog in it. Goodbye, frog. Alright, we got a spell. Easily missable spell. Not even really good. But, uh... If, you, if you're like, Blue, where do you get your last level 2 black magic? Well, there you go. I, not really missable, but easy to not find, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming someone in town tells you to mess around in the dang flowers. Okay, we've already got... High magic. Control self-destruct. Control is not that accurate for me. Some monster shaped as an old man's in the forest. Better stay away from that bad sheep. From the bad side of town. Guy right here. He's a bad sheep. Um, when you max out a job level, a freelancer gets the, the, the stats of that job and any passive abilities the job has. 
Here, Romeo's Ballad. We don't even know how to sing! Um, because we we're not a bard yet, but now we have a ballad. It's a sob, sob, bard, spoon, sob. Don't listen to him. There's treasure in the waterfall. At least, that's what my dear old great-great-grandmother told me. Like, a hundred years ago. Don't worry, we'll, uh... We'll talk to the old man in the waterfall soon enough. Didn't go to the item shop. Probably should have. What can I do for you? Uh, stalk here a little bit. <laughs> what a terrible secret looting zone. Nothing back here to loot. This is a secret passage we only get to see because we have a thief. Well, uh, a fine passages. And there's nothing even back there. Also, it would have been on the map anyway, because the map is very cheaty. Back in my day, we didn't have no in-game map. Technically, to have maximum stats on your freelancer, you only actually need to, to master like four jobs. Because there is one job that is the best at strength, one job that's the best at stamina, agility, and magic. And if you max that one, then all of the other jobs that provide lesser stats don't really apply. They don't add up. It just it takes whichever one gives you the best stats. So something like Thief would probably give you the best agility, for instance. There you go. Laps around the flowers. Um, in case you're wondering. Okay, that's it for history. Now one more thing to do while we're here, in theory we don't die terribly. Likelihood of death high. So we can't get to the waterfall yet. Uh, but we need to be in the forest. There is something in that waterfall though. For sure. But there's also something in this forest. Pretty sure. Usually doesn't take too long to find him, right? History, the land of side quests. Mini dragons? I haven't really used one of those before. It's not bad. That was worse. I'm actually not sure how strong they are, but I see five enemies, I think, hey, we should... AOE them down. If we can. Looks like they might be ice. You don't get more than one ability slot, mostly. Unless you want to be a, uh... A freelancer gets two. Or maybe even three. game, Freelancer tends to be the way to go, but we got a ways to go. Alright, we didn't get one shot, good start. I don't know, just have a shrink. That cure did not do much. I wonder if there's anything we can hit him with from blue. I always, the problem with me with blue magic is like, I never know what's gonna work on a given boss, right? Like, like in theory, we could get rid of all of his MP without too much work. Thunderer costs 10 MP. Um, he's also pretty fast, so, you know, slowing him would not be a bad idea. And I'm not even suggesting that this is a good way to kill him. 
just that it's kind of funny, so I want to try it. So he's got 67 left now. And he's slow. And it seems like he has no immunity to Magic Hammer. 34 left. 24 left. At this point, it doesn't make a huge difference, but we'll cast it again. He's only got two more Thunderas, and now he's got one left. That's it. <laughs> so now what can he do? I don't even want to kill him. I want to see what he can do. Um, he just punches you for some damage. Level 21. He's almost dead anyway. But, you know, in theory, Magic Hammer can do stuff like that. It's kind of neat. I wonder if we could have just hit him with the old uh, missile again at the beginning. Dang, that would have done, uh, like, 4,000 damage if we started with it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta use missile more often. That, that three-quarter damage thing is pretty awesome if it works on bosses. Because if you've got 10,000 hit points and you're like, nope, you've got 2,000 hit points, and then they're basically dead. <laughs> so, pretty good. And now we... Control Ramu. Huzzah! That one. So, you know, now sailing the seas is a little bit safer, because we can just blast them. And for the last... The last thing for this episode, and probably for the stream, we'll go blast everything at sea once. This is a terrible fight, because uh, the Thunder and enemies are healed by light. Classic. Just try to show off one cool thing, and this is what happens. Hmm. If you if having his level works and it rounds down, maybe that still would have been two turns, assuming they work. Missile would have also basically got him into one shot range within two turns. So I don't know. It's fairly equivalent. All right, Ramu. The, uh, the animations are pretty awesome, though. I like it. Ooh, that's some good damage. Whew. And technically, we have, like, gravity, which does the same thing as missile, except only half. I don't use stuff like that very often. But this is one of the games that a lot of the status effects have a chance to work. You know, it's just... My problem is always memorizing when which ones work and which ones don't, and it's... Other than just testing it out and trying to remember all the time, it's tough. Anyway, pretty good. Ramu, very strong. We're going to end the episode here, another pretty long one for the future tubers, but uh, we've got our three elemental summons. We had a little bit of fun, learned a song, you know, got a little side quest out of the way. We'll get back onto the main quest pretty quick after this, and uh, we'll see where we're going to go. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.